everyone! Welcome to Panacool Math Mania. Today, we will be using math as our superpower to learn about problem solving involving area. Jessica is looking at how to measure the area of her living room floor. She thinks of measuring the length and estimating the entire area, but then she thinks of something better. The floor is tiled with identical squares. This means she can count the number of squares and multiply the number of squares by the area of one square. Instead of counting each square one by one, she counts the number of rows of squares as well as the number of columns. The total number of squares would be the product of the number of rows and columns. Jessica counts seven columns and four rows. This tells us that we have four rows of seven squares, which is seven multiplied by four, which is equal to 28 squares. Jessica asks her mother what the area of each tile is. Her mother tells her that each tile has an area of one meter square. If we have 28 squares, each with an area of one meter square, the total area would be 28 multiplied by 1 meter squared, giving 28 meters squared. How else can we use unit squares to determine areas? We can think of parking lots with parking spots of equal areas, as well as farms with square plots of equal areas. Thank you for visiting Math City. I hope you had fun learning with me today. Try the Pentacool exercises to earn points and win great prizes. 